Finally, Judgment Day has arrived. Um, I just can't stop pacing up and down. So here we are. This is where we're gonna find out where we're going, what we're made of, what it means to these players. Hang on, I need to do a poo because I'm bricking it. This is where we find out our fate. How much have we really progressed in the last year? We've been given an incredible opportunity that I never thought we really deserved, but it's there for the taking. And the first European trophy in 25 odd years is within touching distance. We are very, very close. Please, God, do not fuck this up. Oh, God, please, please. I beg of you, genuinely, if you fuck this up, I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to give that energy because law of attraction and all that. What we're going to do is focus on a poo. I'll be back in a minute, right? I have seen Arsenal in Europe plenty. Naeem is actually one of my first Arsenal memories. I think he played for Tottenham as well. Galatasaray, what was that? 2000. Wow. Lost on penalties. Georgie Hazzy, red card and uh, extra time. Early in extra time as well. Played against 10 men. Um, lost on pens. Six years later, Champions League final. We're 1 0 up. Henri's through on goal. 1 on 1, basically. Um, you got to put that way, mate. 2 0 up. Van Bronckhorst has said since that they would have given up at 2 0. If we'd scored that goal, they would have given up. Wenger deserved um, that Champions League that year. Three years later, 2009, we get to the Champions League semi-final. Manchester United. 4-1, I think it was. Torn apart. Attacking-wise, we were great, but defensively, we've always been exposable. Falling at the final hurdle so many times. Even last year, semi-finals of Europa League against one of the best sides in the world, Atleti. I mean, primed Atleti. Very defensively, you know, respected and whatnot. And two Champions League finals they've got to win one, win one up again. Win one up. And then somehow, I think it was, it was Bellerin that let him in. Bellerin let him in for the goal, I remember that. I was absolutely fuming with him. Wow, my God. Koscielny, injured. We've not had the best luck in Europe, European finals at least. And just the way that we consistently kept coming up against the best Barcelona side of the last fucking however long, the best Bayern Munich side of however long, just year after year, really screwed us over. And now to see Liverpool and Tottenham just waltzing into Champions League finals, it's, it's great for English football as a neutral, you know, as a sports journalist, I want to tell you that this is an incredible moment to behold for English football in general, especially after the last summer in Russia. But for crying out loud, wow, as an Arsenal fan, fucking hell, this is it, lads. This might be the end. If Giroud scores a winner in a Europa League final and Tottenham managed to win the Champions League, it's over. You're finished. You're irrelevant. You, I mean... We've got a lot of work to do to get those history books to rewrite themselves now because people are dipping in with big money. They're not fucking around building ranches and fucking NFL stadiums and sitting watching the fucking coffers grow over here. They're not doing that. Newcastle now, they're getting fucking taken over by the Sheikh's brother or whatever it is. What's going on? We'll get into a video about that. How the fuck is that even legal? Um, but money everywhere so if you're not spending it you get left behind and we missed a massive opportunity in that summer of i think 2015 when we only signed Petr Cech 2014 2015 2015 um you're signing a goalkeeper who's fucking past it excuse my language um 
and that was it. That was, that was it. So we missed a whole season of like catching up when prices were still kind of attainable. They hadn't gone through the roof and Mbappe hadn't happened yet. And, you know, that's over now. Players are going for fucking 50 million minimum. You know, decent players, 50 mil. Min! Otherwise you're dealing with potential, could be a, you know, yeah, yeah, fuck off. This is it. We will either get drawn back into the conversation with the elite clubs or we are going to fall even further behind and there will come a time when we won't get to a fucking UEFA Cup semi-final or final. Do you want to be involved in this one or that one? Come on now, let's be realistic. We want Wednesdays and Tuesdays, not Thursdays. I'm busy Thursdays, bro. I have a fucking life. There will be a video later tonight, regardless of the result. Don't forget to tune in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and press the bell. Let's see you get notified when I upload. Um, shit, this is it. It's actually crunch time. Wow, incredible. This is the day that I've been dreading. Wow, oh God. Um, what do we do with ourselves? Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask people on Twitter exactly what they think is going to happen in the game. Let's get your opinions and hope that you can calm the mood. And um, hopefully you've got some good predictions for me. George Benson says, 2-2, two, 6-5 two, Chelsea on penalties. Oh, no thanks. That sounds like fucking torture. I'm not up for that. 4-1 to the Arsenal, says Reesology. 1-0 Arsenal. Mustafi scorpion kick. <laughs> Imagine if Mustafi scores a winner. It's going to be an unlikely hero, isn't it? Is someone has got to stand up and be counted. All of you. I swear to God, please don't bottle this. 3-2 to us. A battle all the way with Lacazette scoring the winner in the 88th. That sounds like torture. Three twos. I don't want to hear any of that. I need a clean 3-0 or a 3-1 mint maximum. Right? I don't want to go three twos. Two two. Fucking hell. Um, nil nil. Arsenal win one nil in extra time. I think that's a Chelsea fan saying that. N'Golo FC. Wow. They're not very confident Chelsea fans, especially with N'Golo Kante looking like he's going to be out or at least I, I highly doubt that he's going to be playing. Rotter's cheek is out. Hudson Adoy is out. Rudiger is out. Um, I don't know if Hazard is 100%. Très intéressant. Um, I don't care if it's 10 9, this guy says. Um, I just want Arsenal to fucking win, for fuck's sake, nice. Uh, half time 2-0 Arsenal, full time 3-2 Chelsea, <laughs> says elite Chelsea. 2-1 uh, win, Arsenal an extra time, KG first 20 minutes, then Arsenal pull away, Chelsea players not up for it, nothing in it for them and stadium will be probably heavily Arsenal bias 3-0 final score the thing is there is a trophy up for grabs and they know that another medal another honour on their list can be added by just winning this one game so even though they've got Champions League football in the bag I think Chelsea do have a lot to play for they're playing for pride they're playing for their club they're playing for possibly a move away like I said they're playing for that medal the honour um, a lot of those guys don't know what's happening to them and they haven't had that bad a season, let's be honest. They picked it up and really turned it around where it was looking kind of dodgy. They've got themselves to a, a cup final and lost on penalties against Man City, possibly best side in the country, best side in Europe even. Um, they are in a European final and they've got top four in the bag already. Not a bad season from Mauricio Osorio, especially in his first year. Been very harshly judged, I think. Um, however, 4-1 Arsenal, Ozil masterclass incoming. 1-0 Koscielny to score the winner in added time. A lot of you are very confident that Arsenal can win, and that gives me hope. In fact, it should be a calm win, this. Like you said, we have everything to play for. They don't. This is a massive game for Arsenal. Make no mistake about it. But for Chelsea, you could say it's just another game. How many finals have they been in? How many trophies have they won in the last 10 years? It's a lot more than Arsenal. This is another day at work. Another day at the office. I bet there's Chelsea fans out there today who forgot the game was happening. Today. Maybe not in general, but today. They've woken up and they're like, oh shit, it's the game. Whereas I've woken up and it's like, oh shit! It's today. Good luck, lads. I'll see you on the other side, all right? I will be back with another video. I hope you're all well and all that. I pray. Say your prayers. Get down on your knees. Every single prayer. Get the Quran out. Yeah. Get the Bible out. Get the Torah out. Get them all out. All the scriptures. We're going to need every everything. I'm going to love you and leave you now. Here we go.
Here we go. Let me know your predictions in the comment section below and come back after the video and see if you were right or how very wrong you were. Until later, guys. Until later.